My fellow sheep, election season is upon us. Are you one of the 12% of Americans who still approves of our government? Then we need your help to force the other 88% into compliance. Our democracy depends on it. We're an organization called Citizens Against Too Much Unfettered Freedom, or CATMUF. CATMUF is a bipartisan flock of sheep whose goal is expanding government until nothing else remains. Because the government is here to help you. How can you help CATMUF help you? By only voting for candidates dedicated to expanding government. It's easy. You don't need to study the issues. No matter what a politician says when running for office, they're all dedicated to expanding government. And make sure you tell all your friends and family to vote for more government. Here at CATMUF, we don't care if you vote Democrat or Republican, as long as you vote for candidates committed to growing our federal family. CATMUF. Because folks just aren't smart enough to handle real freedom. These, yeah, these ideas don't matter. The actions really matter. Yeah, they, 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 what, oh, what yeah. people, what yeah. people, what people do with, what people do with these ideas. But when you know, like you can sit here and call yourself a communist all day long, but if you never like advocate for the abolition of all private property uh, to the body politic, then you're not a communist. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 118th episode of the Seeds of Liberty podcast. As always, we are covered by a BIPCOT no government license. This allows reuse by anyone except governments and the agents thereof. You can find out more information about this at BIPCOT.org. So we are back. I am Jeremy, joined as always by Dave and Andre. And this week we have a conversation that actually got started before the show and we got so far into it that I just didn't want to uh, waste the content. So we just decided to keep going and call that our show for the week. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks everybody for listening and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. What's that? Yeah. It? Yeah, that's catch true. Hey up. Dave. Oh, nothing. I was just talking to, to Jeremy about the court stuff going on. And he was telling me what was happening. Bunch of fucking statey bullshit. Yeah, as usual. Pretty much. So. And the ego in his own might not be a big book, but holy fuck is it hard to read. Yes. Germans uh, are like that. No, man. no, it's it's not even that. The the, the tr if you read if you're reading the ego in his own, then that's uh Boyan, Boyton, whatever the fuck his name was. Um, his translation, the original one that was from 1906, 1907. Um, 1907, yeah. Yeah, there's a new translation that just came out late last year, early this year. I actually have a copy of that. It's even even the title has been retranslated um, to uh, the unique the, and its uh, property. The unique, the unique and its property. I saw that. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually, uh, I ha I have a copy of it. I plan on reading it hopefully nah, man you got to go soon. learn german dude you don't want to be culturally appropriating you know philosophers well, I, I didn't <laughs> learn, i didn't learn i didn't learn Ger i didn't learn german before i before i read fucking marx's shit so whatever. <laughs> I just, I just, unacceptable I, I just you know i trusted the translations you're gonna pay for your microaggression sins well you know well here's the thing though dave since you know, it is hard German to read, is the language of white people. White people's culture can't be Baby, appropriated. Can you read me so, a big pillow, please. Yeah, especially not by black people. The one on the futon. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What should we call it? Uh, yeah, it, it is. It's not an easy read. Um, as James Weeks, it, the way James Weeks explained it to me originally was, see, what you got to do is you got to read it, and then you got to read it again. And then more likely than not, you got to read it one more time. And then... Jesus, fuck. I don't want to read that book three fucking and times. And then Son of a bitch. It, all of a sudden you'll go, you. 
Oh no! No, you I see what he's really doing. have to do that with the Lord of the Rings series. So I uh, I agree I've, with his premise. I've well, I've I've read I read the Lord of the Rings series at least ten times, but those are all by choice. I know, and every time you're like, "What?" It, but, it was it's so good. Oh, but, uh, I want to read it soon. I, I I listened to it. I listened to the audio. I listened to an audiobook version That's of it. the Ego and its own his own. Um, and I've read. Sorry, I just got to eat red um, piece red pieces <laughs> of the of that translation before. Now I'm going to try reading the other because because uh, from what I, from what I've heard too, like the, this guy who translated it now got a lot more of Sterner's sarcasm and uh, yeah, the little jabs he was making that uh, Boyton or what, whatever the fucking guy's name was um, missed <laughs> because he wasn't the greatest tra- he wasn't the greatest uh, German he wasn't that strong in German he just gave, gave a shot. Gave it a shot and kind of. Well, uh, likely he was translating for for grammar and 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 vocabulary, and not for content. I yes, suspect. yeah, because that's what it reads like. Yeah, exactly. So, um, the new version supposedly is a lot. Um, you, you can you, you can grasp it a lot quicker. Um, but we'll see. You know, hmm. I just I, I I like some of the uh, some of the ideas are interesting to me. And uh, Kierkegaard was very hard. I listened to all of his books, and read along one of them and it was even hard to read along mises is rough too yeah uh, the, mises hardest, is... the hardest the yes. hard if you really want to try to read a book i try, try, I try to read I try. alfred Kajits, or krasipski's uh semantics and science it will whew. i try i tried to read well i made the mistake of trying every to start, page is laborious uh, tr- <laughs> trying to start with human action years ago I didn't get very far. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to take. Neither did I. I, I was like, I was like, I was like, I need to go back to like, uh, I need to go back to some of his articles and then go, you know, go reverse all the way back to like Rothbard <laughs> stuff and uh, you know, so, so maybe even lower than that and start back up again and get, you know, work my way back up to that um, because yeah, uh, it's it's Mises intense. is rough, man. He's like, he's like thirteenth grade read, reading level. I I mean I I've probably lost some of it over the years with the uh, you know the the lack of doing as much and also because I got you know listening to audiobooks and and podcasts instead um, and you know copious amounts of cannabis I'm sure I've lost a little bit of it but I used to read at extremely high level but even then it's still like I was like what the ahama what ju-? yeah okay, I okay <laughs> well really yeah. and truly and I think this might be the translation that I'm reading and that's why I'm having such a problem with it because like the first what is it like the first two or three chapters of Sterner's book is like his attempt at using flowery descriptive prose to convey an idea. And it doesn't seem like he's particularly good at it. This is not one of his strengths. I don't think, or at least it doesn't feel that way to me as, as a fiction writer, this is not what I would qualify as, as good work. You have to understand also that this guy was living in like a, post church germany okay he was living in a very protestant germany like yes where, i can i can tell i i can tell so you so you that, have that to comes keep, across very you have well to, <laughs> yes. the entire time you're reading the book you have to keep that in mind no well I, it, no, I, but, I, there, I, but there I, again I, it's, I get what you're i get what you're saying andre i mean he he's He's, I, you know, the phrase "acquired taste" comes to mind, um, but yeah, I think I think the translation may also have something to do with that too. But I'm not discounting what you're saying because I, I, like I said, I, I'm not, you know, people assume that I've become like a sterner right. I'm, I don't even consider myself an egoist at this point. Um, you know, maybe maybe bordering on egoist anarchism, which is slightly different um, than just a straight up egoist. But um, it's, I'm not even like at that point. I'm just I'm getting into this and finding it interesting. Um, you know, although challenge, very challenging as well. And it's also the fact that, you know, what a lot of people don't realize is most people post Sterner were actually pretty, very heavily influenced by Sterner, <laughs> including Ayn Rand. She was heavily they, they were by marx marx was heavily marx well marx Engels, no mar- uh, the, marx they, and angles marx, see, that's the thing marx and angles hated him he they he drove them up a fucking wall because he because like if you you know he 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 rips up like he, he well, the same publisher produced put them both out it, no no that that because how many publishers were there at the time in germany okay you're talking about what the if, yeah before, which it was the same one in that 18, same town but was, i don't know it was, well no they 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 traveled in the same circles 
and he was sympathetic yeah. to the communist ideas but he totally mm-hmm. shredded what they were t- like they the two of them Marx and Engels actually spent like they wrote a series of 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 responses to him that actually like dwarfed what he actually wrote in um you know just a, well, what, critici- criticizing the them <laughs> they became so obsessed that they wrote like 10 times as much trying to attack what he was saying but they never actually got to what he was saying they just ended up keeping attacking him <laughs> yeah that's that's what happens to me daily <laughs> so so like you know when people like that's what i i just laugh when anybody calls you know they see sterner they just they automatically go commie i'm like oh dude you really haven't read him like no no he didn't like the commie like he was sympathetic to the idea of the workers having power i think it's but i he think didn't they like go communism commie. as he didn't like marxism he thought marx and Engels were kind of out of their effing minds i think the, the, <laughs> the general lumpage of people into the word commie is that if your ideals are what you advocate will lead to communism, you might as well be a fucking commie. But again, but that's so. But that okay. But how many yeah, fallacies? Yeah, is if, that? if anything, he was a nihilist. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that's which a, leads a to communism. Uh, well. clo- definitely more more that than anything else. And I think I mean he and he was pre Nietzsche too, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, if I recall, so I think I think Nietzsche, what, what, Nietzsche was actually was influenced. Yeah, I, yeah, because Nietzsche was uh, mid to late eighteen hundreds, right? Uh, yeah, he was pre Nietzsche, but he was post Kierkegaard. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah you, that's that you have sense. to you have well, to realize yeah, that was, it was a it was a was dueling a con- existentialism between France and Germany and Austria at the time, and uh, you got to read all of their uh, books to really grasp the. Uh, it's almost like what's going on with uh, the economic uh, philosophies of today because the moral philosophies have already won. Hey, we don't want to steal from each other. It's just the state's a shitty tool to do this from. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of where I think most of humanity, is, at least the normal people, are at. You know, as long as you know, as long as I'm not getting stolen from and you're not getting stolen, we're cool. Uh, most people don't want this huge, overpowering bullshit state. They just don't want uh, it. See, that's like I go back and forth. Well, on okay, no, no, no. I, I it's not that they don't that want they it. They would prefer not to have. They it. want they the no. They want the collectivist it. nation. Rah, rah, rah. They don't want that massive monster state sitting on top of it. Well, yeah, that's see, what I'm saying. They would prefer not to have it, but they can't see a solution that right. doesn't involve the state. This could, this so could, it's not a, it's not as though they exactly. would exactly their their preference is for a state. It's that they're limited in their ability to imagine a world without one. Which is most of the people that I've ever encountered. Because most of the people I encounter, their main objection is, well, you know, yeah, that would be great, but sounds good you know, on paper. X, Y, and Z. Exactly. Yeah, that would you're be right. great. You're right. I experienced but, it yesterday. Yeah. They're like, I, I've you know, met like very, hey, very few people. One or two guys will buy up people. everything, and then I'm like, look, let me break it down to you, and I break it down real slow, and they're like, yeah, but let me, and I go through these one by one, and it's just like, man, I'm not going to sit here and play, beg the question with you. You need to do some self discovery. You don't come to liberty by anyone's persuasion. I hope you don't. <laughs> I, oh, hope, I, I, I hope I, someone doesn't. I, I hope someone doesn't say I want to be a libertarian. I want to live by the non aggression principle by someone just, hey, you should do this. It should be. Well, it's well should, thought out. It should, it should be, be completely I, understood. There, there is there is a level of persuasion, I think it can be. Well, <sighs> Yeah, well, I, in in an ideal world, I would say that uh, sure, that sounds great. But we're in, recording already, right? <laughs> I, I've been recording. Yeah, this is gonna. This is this is this is this is. We're, Ideals are spooks. Yeah, we're we're. Uh, yes, this is true. Um, we're going to. Uh, <laughs> this is all. There is no be. such thing as an ideal world. Here's my thing. Okay, well, no, hold, right, on, so hold, on, hold, go, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blah 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 <laughs> is a spook, and then I want to go. Okay, and. Well, no, no, no. It's some people. <laughs> some people just use it. Um, in, in, in I know, but some motherfuckers slam this down like they just p- draw the ace of spades. Well, and exactly. You got they got nothing else, and what it means is literally, I have nothing else to say in this this discussion. <laughs> and <laughs> to me, I mean, granted, I have a lot more reading to do, but so far from what I've read and been able to glean, which again, read and able to glean are two different things. Because the you know my my level of comprehension is pretty good, but I'm not a fucking you know genius level. Uh, literary. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Oh, not really. No, I mean, I, I'm pretty smart, but I'm not a fucking like. I I, I don't spend. You all just day haven't taken enough DMT, man. 
Yeah, <laughs> take some more of that. You'll be good to go, man. Um, yeah, probably. If I took DMT and tried to read, I'd probably just like fucking go insane. I'm sure. Well, but no, basically, that's. I mean, it's the same <laughs> critique I have. The what he what he's talking about is the same critique. I have the same critique about that as I do about nihilism in general. Is that okay? So assuming that you can't derive meaning from things like the 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 world exists only as you perceive it or the the meaning in the world is ascribed by you as an individual because there's no way for you there's no objective way for you to determine that anything else around you is true so the only truism comes from you it's the meaning that you ascribe to the world yeah well, okay but that doesn't that, that's not useful to say that you can't you you can't be certain of the of reality around you or you can't be certain that things are the way they are it's, it's not just useful. general solipsism really well i to a certain extent yes but uh, but i think uh you know like in my opinion like i've 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 delved deep into existential literature i mean <laughs> i've read some some books that would make your mind want to destroy itself when you're done so I mean to take to take I get, an extreme I get their arguments that, but they're that, all that pre performative Facebook contradictions on their yeah, end Jesus. To, uh, to take now? an extreme example, the nihilist that's, that declares, well, you know, the, the world doesn't exist except as you perceive it. Like, okay, but that doesn't mean anything. That's, that's inherently meaningless. That, 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 that serves zero purpose in terms of anything in your interaction with your perceived world. Like, yes, okay, we can argue about whether no, or not it's the a world performative exists contradiction, if you're not Andre. looking at it. Well, no, because no, there's the no way to disprove it. The world doesn't exist right? not... because you can't blah, blah, blah. Well... Uh, but you, yeah, but, you're but saying the point, that but, you can't do it because no, no, you, it's not saying it doesn't exist. It only exists as you can perceive it. Because and and I don't I don't see the problem with that statement in particular. Only because everybody's everybody's view of of what it, what we call reality is 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 based on their own subjective I would say it's interpretation. Understanding, yeah. You know, there may be well, yeah, but no, the, the, point I'm, the, po the only point I'm trying to make is that doesn't serve any purpose. If, if that's like, your, if that's it, your, it's only... like trying to argue about whether or not the world is a hologram or not. Like, okay, but, let's assume that it is. Does anything change? No. It has literally <laughs> zero impact on how you interrelate with everything yeah, else but in the world. That means we've been lied to, well, man. I, well, or no. it could, you know, we could be a fever dream in some alien's mind. It doesn't matter. Being Thank you, Andre. Way. Did like, you it, get that, that doesn't for me? change Did anything. You, well, <laughs> no, that, mean? Uh, that was... Okay. All well, right. that's well, like I, I understand that in terms of like you know because I've seen the same argument be made towards uh, you know flat earthers and stuff you know so what if it if if it does what does it really change I understand that and yes if that's your if you're just saying that and not taking it any further then well yeah there's no there's no need for a discussion uh, you know because where are you going to go from there if that's the person's only point <laughs> um, that they're going to make uh, I, I mean I I see it as useful perhaps to take people out of uh, being so heavily focused on these ideas that they, they let them consume them. You know, there, there are pe the people that take these ideas to their, to their extremes and uh, you know, and try and try to convince others that they are, there's always they, radicals, they, ex right? they exist in, they exist in reality when they, when they don't that, that type of person, I, I would think at least, would would be serve would be well served to hear the to to hear stuff like you know well it, it doesn't really matter um and you can't really like none of none of this is really provable there it, it does, none of this shit really does exist they are spooks there are these ideas that people claim no that's that's a cop out that it's is not a, a cop that's out an entire, that's a cop out how it is it is a, cop a cop out oh well nothing nothing matters because this might not all exist anyway like no no it's not no it's not, that no, doesn't that, that's no, no, completely no. irrelevant to the point uh -oh. no no that's not what i said I said it doesn't really matter because none of these th these ideas exist because they don't exist. These yeah, these ideas don't matter. The actions really matter. Yeah, they, 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 what, oh, what yeah. people what yeah. people what people do with what people do with these ideas. But when you know, like you can sit here and call yourself a communist all day long, but if you never like advocate for the abolition of all private property uh, to the body politic, then you're not a communist. Well, yeah, that's, 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 well, that's like a lot of thing on, on all sides. It's just, you know, if you're doing it just in theory, well, yeah, you may be a douche about it, but you're not actually doing anything. But like I said, it's, I, I think it's, it, I'm not saying that nothing matters because, because I don't take, I don't take 
again, I don't even necessarily consider myself a nihilist, but if people want to call me that, I mean, no, I wasldn't I wasn't saying you no, do, no, no, that's but, the argument that I no, no, I, I understand oh, no, go on, go I, on. I, I understand that I, I wasn't saying you, I'm sorry. I was saying I was saying people in general have um, but whatever that whatever that means because I don't i I see the uh, just how everything. As much as a, as much as of a, a pretty much an, an objectivist as I could have been previously, without ever actually having read Rand, I've read other people's stuff. I never read any of her stuff, but I ended up being pretty much as close to close to an objectivist as you possibly can without actually going down that route, uh, down that path, um, to walking that back because I I realized you know that well just like I said before when when I look at it. Everybody's inter everybody's interpretation of even the world, even what we call reality, it's all it's all it's all tainted by their own by their own perception, you know, by their own subjective perceptions. Um, yeah, and, and I don't and, and I have a really hard time believing that there are, are a lot there are a lot, if any, of uh, objective truths, as it were. I, I, here's the here's here's my best explanation for objective morality. Okay, an alien could prove that humans do can never prefer theft. So what that does is creates a logical right or wrong human behavior as far as the inner, you know, human relationships go. So, you know, as, you know, alien A observing this world, if you were looking down at humans and just if you had some time to observe, you could all find out that no human, even if they are a thief, can prefer to be stolen from. And if that is true, then there is an objective morality behind our actions now morality also is a double layer is a cultural aspect as well it's it's it can get warped subjectively into different cultures it's why african tribes will have rape parties on all of their post-menstruating you know females yeah, well, that's whatever to build the tribe up and every no one bats an eye but in other places it would be like oh my god what the heck is everybody doing yeah, and even and even in, and even in the same cultures that you know that that are that exist now, like you know the, the Western culture or whatever, there was some stuff that went on not very long ago in in, in quote unquote our culture that today people would be like, oh yeah. my effing god, what the hell are you know like kill like, kill these people? What the hell are they doing? So like it just I mean, there's it evolves and it, strong it, KKK rallies. It it, ev it evolves it evolves t too much to. Uh, to, to be. See, that's where I disagree. I don't think I don't think that the the discovery of you know moral more moral behavior, so to speak, changes the fact that there are objective moral standards. There are objective ethics, or rather, intersubjective ethics, right? Things that are universally true for all people. Again, consent yeah. is one of those. I, I've, well, I, 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 I mean, I I've had conversations about that a lot, but well, I mean, sure. consent is that one. It's that that is at least the one case in which morality will never ever be strictly subjective it, because it can't be. Because well, it, it, nobody well, can. well, actually, see, I, I, <laughs> when you say things like it can't be, then you're presenting these absolutes that I like. I have a prob I have a problem yeah, with. Because but it can't the whole be. like there's there's no way for that to be but the, the whole, case. But the whole but the the whole the whole concept the whole concept of it because that's exactly what it is. It's it's not something that's it's not anything that's derived from nature. It is a human construct. It's an abstraction that that humans have created and molded over time. And like I said, you know, you look back. There, I was listening to recently to uh, one of Thaddeus Russell's podcasts, uh, and they were talking about mm -hmm. they were talking about um, you know the fact of, of how things like this have He's changed. He's a wild guy. He really is, man. He's an interesting dude. Like I have, I don't agree with everything. You know, but he he's he's. A I hate agreeing with everything on somebody. No, but, everybody wants ev no, 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 a fucking mirror, and that's I not hate what I, it. That's not that's I I know what you meant, but I did, I didn't mean. I, I didn't, just wanted to say that. Sorry. Oh no no, I I didn't mean it that way though, because he is. I mean, he's an admitted leftist, I guess. Um, although he he's continued to flirt with libertarianism yeah, over the years since he's he since he first he encountered his yeah, first he libertarian uh, years ago, and like one of his best friends these days is Brett Finnat. So you know, like from School Sucks Project. So the, you know he yeah. uh, he's doing a lot of work with him lately, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, he was talking about you know how much it has changed, and like, but the fact that it was not that long ago that even things like incest were uh, you know looked upon with 
nobody batted an eye at. You know, maybe what was it a hundred years ago? I think he said maybe hundred and fifty at this point, maybe not even. Well, I mean, still in most of the world, no one bats an eye. Like, uh, well, yeah, but like that's what I'm saying. So, like, poor world is high incest, like sixty percent or something. Yeah, but like so, all these things, like uh, so many different things that we find horrible. You know, so that's why I think uh, I think pointing out that people are clinging to these ideas that aren't necessarily like you know aren't necessarily as um, universal as they would like them to be um, uh, is is important. But I'm not saying you shouldn't have it. Uh, you should just stop there. I mean, yes, I agree. People who just jump into conversations just to say that and have nothing else to add. Like I got called out on that a couple of weeks ago on somebody's post. It was a complete accident because I actually meant to come back and I had a, a whole paragraph or two in mind that I was going to write out. But then I get distracted by like kid, kids, my, my kids and then work. Um, so I yeah, forgot to happens. get back to it. And, and somebody was like, is that all you're going to have to offer? I'm like, and I said, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm like, I really plan on coming back and being part of this conversation but life got in the way um but i am not i'm not disagreeing with you dave like because that's where you, you you said that before i'm I, I i get that you know i mean to a certain extent i use it just to mess with people some you know sometimes oh yeah it's like when i call something a meme or i i say you know it's it doesn't exist or whatever you know i do i do that as well it's it's about for me, it's about testing someone's cognitive and debating and rational skills. When I'm when I'm when I'm trolling, I'm trying to see how well they can cope with the verbal prodding. To me, a, a wow. mark of intelligence is being able to just see right past all that and just shoot someone right, right in the but heart. This That's, conversation's never been never been anything other than a serious discussion of ethics. So I mean, like I I can understand where where you would do that, and I've done it myself too. I've trolled people, you know, as as hard as I could. I'm not a master at it, but uh, well, sometimes people don't want a discussion, and the minute I sense that, you know, just as a person, I think we all make personal dis decisions on this. You know, I always try to. Uh, you guys can read. You guys read my Facebook chats and stuff. You read my. Uh, I can't read. I, 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 <laughs> I I always try to essentially be the nice guy unless they're just blatantly trying to ask for it. And I'm just like, look, answer my questions and I'll answer yours. These are sincere questions. They all think I'm trying to gotcha. I'm just asking going, questions, but, uh, trying to lead them to into logical deductions. Saying, well, yeah. but what I wanted, to, I wanted to go back to what you were saying about, oh. well, it's, you know, it's a, it's a human construct that's built upon over years and years. Like, Yes, it, there may be a human construct that's built upon this thing that we're trying to attempt to explain, and that is, in fact, a human construct, and I understand that. But behind it, there is something at play, and it happens, and it you can you can notice it, like you can you can deduce it, you can logic you can deduce it logically. So I mean, to to say that oh well, you know, well, it's a human, yeah. it's a human abstraction, and it's naturally going to change over time like that may be true for many social norms in fact if most if not all but there is at least one case in which this is not true which means it cannot possibly be 100 percent subjective there's no way for that to be the case if there is at least one case in which it's not and we know this because we can determine it logically consent is or having your consent violated is universally not preferable which but makes see, it a consent, universal bad. The, the rebuttal is consent is just an idea. <laughs> yeah, except the consent the just descri consent. All consent describes is the act of you not allowing somebody to use you or your things. That's all consent describes. Like, yes, you can say, oh, well, consent's a human construct. Yes, but it's used to describe a thing that happens. So to say to to dismiss it by saying, well, you know, con consent and the the ethical framework you got to understand well, they're human the, constructs the, the egoist that, argument is might makes right so it's basically them telling you we need to just cut to the fucking chase here grab your axe your bow and let's go that's that's what it is and if you if you don't want if you don't want to leave me off my property you're going i'm going to stop you leave me alone on my property i'm going to stop you See, but then property is just an idea so i that's why well, yeah, sterner kind of confuses me well, in, in, in the Which, uh, and, I'm, it, and I'm trying to go in this with a clear head because I don't want to come in with any preconceptions. I'm trying to read it for what it is. No, we and probably shouldn't have, we probably shouldn't have been talking about this whole time, but that's fine. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, because we no, 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 it's fine. Because <laughs> these are conversations that I, I, I always want to have. I, I wasn't I'm, trying, I'm always I, trying I, I to find kidding, a fundamental Andrew. ethical level. I was, I was kidding. It's, I'm not, we haven't really delved that deep into it, so you shouldn't be that, uh, per, um, you know, jaded one way or the other. 
no no and and i i i understand i i get that too because that's in the end you know might, might makes right does come in and you know absent these ideas that we try to put in place and and get other people to understand that is the reality i mean that's that's the rea- that's the reality of history you know that's the that's the hu- historical yeah, so but can i blow your mind yeah, and objectively it's the, it's the case can i can, like, but yeah, can i totally blow your guy's mind real quick no you can't might Fuck Might you. doesn't always have to be or mean violence or aggression. Yes, it does. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. In that context, I think you it could does, have but. you could have three hundred thousand people that wouldn't tolerate X in a society, and no one would do it just completely out of fear. And that is essentially Might that's, makes right. That's fear of what? That's f- yeah, fear exactly. of repercussions. Well, exactly. <laughs> so fear. So fear of violence. In yeah, other words. Fe- exactly. exactly. So fear of might. <laughs> but they wouldn't even have to do it's, it. It's the. It doesn't. Well, yeah, but that's not the point. The you, point isn't that might actual might makes right. It's it, it, might or the fear of. Yeah, that's why. You that's why aggression is considered from the either community. violence or the is that violence? threat of violence. The, credi- huh? the credible threat of violence is 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 putting them in a nice car, driving them out of the city limits, and saying, "Sir, you're free to leave from this car," and then turning around and leave. Is that aggression or is that violence? <laughs> that's aggression. You're oppressing me. Stop aggr- Stop oppressing me. As these these are microaggressions. Well, what, what, Your whether, words whether, whether the car is nice or not, but whether you're telling them that they have to leave someplace that they may have um, a claim of ownership to, just because you don't like them. Um, that's a different story. So you could have a, a nice contract that says if you don't abide by X rule, you will be gently removed. <laughs> okay, but the, you're not you're now you're now you're now you're talking about what would happen in a situation that was already getting set up like that. Although what the yeah. the the uh the nice um uh what should we call it? Uh you know, analogy you were making there um, was usually is, is usually done to reference uh, what would happen in the now versus what would happen in the then. So you're kind of conflating the two. Are tangible contracts like signed in ink? Those aren't spooks, correct? Tangible contract. Well, again, like the, you know, it's spook, two pieces of paper spook, w- signed with a witness. This, okay, you, you have a physical piece of paper, then sure. Um, the, well, the, yeah, that exists. Oh, so there you go. As far as as far as I can there tell, there you go. Um, although, you know, Huzzah. which, okay. But that's, that's an issue. That's an interesting, that's an interesting, um, point though. Cause w- so you take that then, which, and again, uh, as I've stated multiple times since I started going down this path a little bit, just to, you know, learn a little bit more. And I found it, I found some of the arguments I, fr- I came across from people who had read this a lot more extensively, um, persuasive enough to pursue it. Um, but I have maintained, uh, the entire time that I, it, you know, like when people get up, you get mad when I say things like that. It's a spook. It's, you know, you, you just because you don't like something. Who said I didn't like it? You know, just because just because something is a spook doesn't mean it can't be useful or I can't I can't find use in it. I can't find utility in it. I mean, you know, like I said, if if anything else, I guess I've become more utilitarian in my thinking um, over the past couple of years, um, which I guess is I've seen you just become more stoic and more. Well, stoicism, stoicism is something I've been studying a lot more often too. I've been reading a lot more. I I, I read a, I read a couple of stuff, a couple of books by uh, Epictetus, and um, you know, Mark. I'm mm-hmm. starting to read some Marcus Aurelius stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's just interesting. It's just ideas. You know, I'm uh, I'm trying to go through. But there's but a lot that, of great man books from uh, a lot of early Roman uh, philosophers that uh, it's like they almost had it. They just couldn't figure yeah, it out some of them some of them really. because they were using their gate of knowledge we have a completely different scope oh, absolutely you know? absolutely i'm not but, but my point was that we've I, seen oh. multiple people die trying other shitty ideas so like we're we have an advantage yeah and as people 100 200 500 years from 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 now we'll have even more of an advantage um if we haven't figured out that if, if, if we the royal we have yeah those like, libertarians had it all wrong they were they were so close. Oh, they were so close. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to jump the gun. We got to what what's going to be a critical issue in the year 2897. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Human <laughs> cloning's going out of control. I, th- I I have a feeling that'll happen a lot earlier than 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 that that year. You know. Who knows, man. This is probably already happening. Well, it's, I'm I, human cloning, I'm guessing is probably if it's if it's not full they're cloning out cloning sheep it's just is easy yeah how successful has that i mean i know grow there's up. been successful trials, grow up 
But how, how many, how, how, like, are they doing that regularly now, or is it just like a couple of them that have been successful? Well, they're trying to make chimeras, according to some people. They're like breeding, trying to make super soldier by taking, you know, <laughs> this gene out of a pig, this gene out of an ostrich, this gene out of a, a bullfrog, and mixing them all into human, you know, and, and seeing what happens. The frogmen are coming. That's going to be one ugly motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> we'll actually have frogmen. It won't just be a figure of speech anymore. Yeah, right. An army of frogs. Well, I, I don't, gay frogs. It turns the frogs gay. The frogmen are gay. I, I don't know. <laughs> Transgender. Back frogs. on subject here. I, I don't know. Eco I don't know and is a whole. I, I don't know anything. No, no. We're, well, we're just talking about all this stuff in general, I guess. Uh, but what I was, my, my, the point I was trying to make before is that. Uh, just because my thinking has shifted somewhat doesn't mean I don't find any of these ideas still useful. Because I, I, I'm still, I, I am, st despite, despite uh, what Sterner may think about about uh, things, you know, how everything, you know, I still, I still uh, have a have a have a, a, a fetish for property, you know, <laughs> and uh, I recognize that in order to buy by the nap as much as I can, which is another principle that I, you know, another just idea, a spook, if you will, that I find that I personally find useful. I have to, ex I have to extend my property fetish to others. So you're a <laughs> so, proprietarian egoist. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, like I said, it's, it's not, it's not even, I'm not, I'm not even into egoism. No, no, I was, I'm trying to coin a new thing. For oh, there you go. So you can be the most esoteric thing out there, Jeremy. I've, dude, I've I've stayed it for quite a while now. We need just, more hyphens. I'm I'm an individualist, Anarchist. More hyphens. No, no. If your if your label doesn't include at least four hyphens, you're not you're not we, for real. You're not legitimate. You're not even close that's, to legitimate. That's kind of why that's kind of why I went the individualist route because I was just tired of. I mean, it could be just like you know, no. Whatever. That's why I go strict to Dave Arkist Dave at the end Arcus. of the day. It's so easy. Well, yeah. Hey, what do you believe in, Dave Arky? And they're like, what's that? Look it up. I, look I mean, it, look it up. Yeah, that'll be help. Um, well, no, I mean, my name is Dave. The word Archie means Archon. It should write itself. Well, I mean, yeah, sure. I guess at the end of the day, I'd, I'd feel the same way. Yeah. I'm not a Dave Archist, but you know, <laughs> honestly, the, re the reason, the, the whole reason why I decided to read Sterner in the first place to like actually go it go and sit down and read his actual work as opposed to just you know gleaning what was in the material from other sources and read people's interpretations of it that's essentially what it what it boils down to is you read somebody else's interpretation of the work um i got trolled i got trolled hard by some proud han whatever fucking jackass on one of my steam posts because I had compared national socialism to Marxism and made the con and I had the I stated my contention that national socialism was Marxist socialism to a, by and large to by a large degree. Well, you know, it, and it, I, okay. yeah, I mean, um, I could talk about it for days, but yeah, keep going. Yeah, well, uh, go, well, go ahead, Jeremy. What were you going to say? No, I was, I was, I thought Dave was going to cut you off, and I was trying to stop him. Go ahead, you can take okay. it. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, and I mean, basically, the whole article was I just took, I took the ten planks of the Communist Manifesto, took the twenty-five uh, points of the National Socialism Movement in America Party, and I compared them, and you know, found a dramatic number of similarities. Really, the only place they differ is the National Socialists don't want international socialism they just want they just care about american socialism but i don't see any reason why they couldn't internationalize that if they wanted to conquer more land for the national mm. welfare so that's that, that, that's well, kind of more of like a gray area they just they, um and they they, they don't no, believe no, no, in a, no, no, in a no, progressive no. why country? limit a good thing okay. uh, uh, I'm sorry, Andre, they, why limit a good thing I'm sorry they don't they don't believe in, what was that other thing you said um they they don't believe in in internationalism no, the same way that marxist socialists do no, I know, but the second thing you said, I, I, I and the second thing is they they according to them their platform is they want a flat rate tax, so Who's, they don't believe which, in a heavy graduated income tax. That's the nationalist or heavy graduated tax system. So that's the really the only the nationalist one that you said. Between. Yeah, that's they're yeah. the same thing. They pan out to be the same thing. No, it, it's, they, it's exactly what has happened well, in the no, United States. They said, well, the income tax will never be higher than X, and then like five years later, it was like boom, ninety seven percent. So, like. Well, I don't. <laughs> it's a joke. It always is. Was it? Was it? I don't well, think no. It was what were you going to say, Jeremy? Well, no. I was going to say there. There is still. I mean, if if you break it down like that, then there there is still. I mean, that is still a 
a pretty drastic difference, though. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but what if you if you strip everything else out, what are you basically talking about? Nationalist versus globalist. You know, that well, is a very is true. But I mean, that, implicit implicit in all of their demands about, is that ex- they're going to take over whatever land they need for the national welfare. So technically speaking, I don't see that as being I mean, like, you're yes, talking about is, per- well, they actually they take they, they take it versus to the next they, they, conquering, you know, well, no, they, yeah, they just they just take it to the next. Well, no, because they take it. I was thinking in the terms of the nationalists, they just take it to the next level and they only want to. They want to do. They want to do what they want to do within the bounds of their little kingdom. You know, their little kingdom. They don't want to. They don't want to branch out. And they just- well. And and I and I will say this. And I will and I will give them this, just as a, a throwaway because really that's what it amounts to. They do say that they explicitly stand for private property. However, in the same breath, they say that any property that's claimed ownership by anybody can be taken by the state. If it's quote not being used in the interest of national welfare, so exactly. I mean, so it's, so it's, it's, whereas it's, the Marxists are explicit, the National Socialists are implicit. Functionally, there's no difference. Mm-hmm. You get to have whatever property uh, the state says you get to have. So, oh no, in that in, in that regard, as long as it's for the state's interest, it's yeah, the same thing. Yeah, which no, which was that. the main point of contention that I got this troll on me for, and then he started dropping links to Proudhon and links to Sterner, and then said. And, Started throwing around spook and shit, and it was fucking ridiculous, and I got tired of it. But that's that's where this whole impetus come from. Like, okay, <laughs> well, I, I sure, I, whatever. I, I'll read Sterner. Fuck it. I, uh, I, 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 I congratulate you on 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 taking that step because I've I've recommended that to a number of people, um, including Dave, uh, <laughs> because so, <laughs> so many people. Like, he, I, I saw I saw your post earlier, and I saw some of the responses. And uh, and it was funny because the, they were exactly what I expected. Yeah, you do this so we don't have to. It's like no, no. That that was kind of my point when I kept making it to everybody. It's like you know, just like I've said to so many people who who bash Marxism and bash um, communism, like whatever, without ever ever actually read a lot of this stuff. They just they're taking it on third. You know, like you said, they're taking other people's they don't know interpretations. How to, how to cr- and most of the time, it. most of the time, they're actually taking like third and fourth hand interpretations because they're getting the interpretations mm-hmm. that their friend got from this other guy and that guy was the one who actually read the goddamn book you know so like by the, yeah you know yeah be, no you're you're right you're so right. so i i i you know i i'm i i think it's great that you actually did like I said, and, and that's and that's precisely why i made that made the caveat on the article and the first was like okay like i understand that i'm taking the communist manifesto as my guideline for marxism which may or may not be correct in the grand scheme of things, but this is what I'm using. So here we go. You really need to read. Like, I'm, I'm not. Kapital. I'm not giving yeah. you a book review. That's, of the, that's the book. Well, that's no, the okay. book. But no, you're. I mean, but you know, I, I understand where you were coming from because I mean, as long as as long and especially if you preface that, then you covered your bases. Um, you know, that's there's nothing because there's nothing wrong with that because that is widely considered the shorthand version of it because well the guy did write the goddamn thing didn't he you know <laughs> so like yeah and that's and that's and that was and that was where i came from like this is still widely regarded as like the core of, of yeah, marxist the short, communism so the this shorthand, is, yeah. i mean you know, to fully now, understand him you know you now basically stuff. ripped off all- or if you really if you if you want a good all of them basically ripped it all yeah my bad sorry oh, no, a little you, bit of lag and if you, if you want a real good time, read the stuff that read the rantings that they that him and Engels did about Sterner. Um, that that's that's a fun read. Um, <laughs> um, it's probably about how uh, 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 Tom Woods and what's his name write about uh, uh, Paul Krugman. No. Oh God, yes, the Contra Krugman show is the best. <laughs> Oh, that is man. Fun, he's just such an easy target though krugman yeah such well, that's a, what i was that's what i was fixing oh, to he's such a fair, shill Paul, and Paul an idiot kind of does it to himself he like really he, is but but i i i mean i i listen to, I, I hate to judge i listen to tom woods <laughs> regularly anyway because i do d- despite his sporadic horrible audio um i, I do i do listen his to his latest episodes is nice i do i do listen to his show regularly yeah i listen to the one the, the one that the, where he uh, had uh diced his speech which was, I, I I can't believe people flipped out that hard about that. Although some people are just looking for things to flip out about. Again. Wait, which what, Jeff Jeff I, I the speech caught up on my where he uh, the oh where yeah the blood and soil yeah where <laughs> I re- as soon as I read that I'm like really really guys this is where you're going with this. <laughs> uh, I mean he ain't wrong. 
Um, I, I think he's got a good point on some things. I yeah. Here's what I'd like to see. The, I would like to see him find a model to to represent what he he's saying. Because if he's he's right in some things, then we can find similarities in, in, in together, and we can fix it. And and that guy's smart. He really has libertarianism nailed down. Like, like really has it nailed down. <laughs> it's it's really not that complicated. <laughs> It isn't. You'd think not. You'd think not. So many people want to grab it, though, and the, warp the it to their own little individual fantasy. Liberal crowd and, I mean, I, I mean, and it's, not, it's not that it's not even a useful shorthand. It is. It's a useful shorthand. It's, nice to, it's a nice way to just like encapsulate everything together. It's like, okay, you, know, you, don't, you don't want to impose on people in their you know, daily lives, and you also don't want fractional reserve banking. But it goes a lot, more, a lot deeper than that, and most people don't. Well, I mean, I say most people, but like a lot of libertarians that I've encountered since the election have not gone beyond that. And it's just been a rehash of the same bullshit political posturing that was happening with the Democrats and Republicans, except now it's with libertarians, you know, quote unquote libertarians. Yeah, we've talked about that repeatedly. I've because I've been saying that for the longest time, you know, it's all, all it is. It's just it's just a divide and conquer men mentality that has now uh is is not even be it's not even being imposed it's just being willfully engaged in <laughs> uh, well yeah but if nobody cares to learn anything more than like you know i can shout I, you know i can explain things until i'm blue in the face but if the person i'm explaining to doesn't give a shit like i mean what am i going to accomplish well the, yeah i know they're, but the, yeah they're only going to see some people are only going to see actions some people are only going to see feels and some people are going to come to beliefs you know rationalizations through logic it, most people just think there's only one way of getting someone to see that something the way they want them to see it and it's just not true some people yeah, you every, have to hit them in the field some people you got to be like you know what i'm just gonna do it and show you it works you know so because What's, some uh, people are like literally monkey see monkey do that's their only operating mo you know mode yeah, I mean, and I, 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 I've seen a lot. Not of everyone's equal. That's the most bullshit thing that everyone's got to get out of their head. Well, yeah, there is. Dave, no, everyone's equal. There is no, there is no equality. There's only Individuals equality in are death. Perfectly every human will, every human being will die. Individuals Currently. are perfectly interchangeable. You're wrong. Every difference <laughs> of outcome is due to racism or sexism. Or any other ism you or want to use, or misandry, or patriarchy, or any no, of it. No, it's all because of somebody else and not my fault. Evil. No, misandry doesn't exist because men are evil. <laughs> the same way, reverse racism isn't real because white people are guilty. Women equal half the of the population, so therefore they they make a majority. So therefore, they have this systemic violence and race. <laughs> no, you're wrong, Dave. You're wrong because you're a white man. Okay. We're all wrong because we're. Yeah, all I, I don't even Kill know why I'm talking Whitey. right now. I don't know why anyone. Kill I don't even know why I'm Whitey. talking right now. I should just shush up. I'm my bad. The, the three of us are like the you know the most hated. Most really, the best thing we could do for society is kill ourselves. I mean, I, I hate to be the one to we say. We already it. we already figured you out you're not white it. though, so you you get a pass, man. You get off. You are you get, saying I'm not white? Are you assuming my ethnicity right now? Oh shit! My oof. How You're just going to voluntarily walk into Dave. the, uh, what would be the liberal version? The, this uber effeminate feminized version of, of Nazism. What would their gas chambers be? What would they be marching you into? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hair salon, I suspect. F four set, four sex changes. There you go. Time, it's time for us to go to the re-education camps. We'll be made into women, and we'll, we'll understand their suffering. Black gay women. That's what we'll become. Yeah, that's the perfect. Yeah. And then we'll win the intersectionality Olympics. It'll be great. It'll be great for all of us. So what's your guys' thoughts on this whole city that just got bought up in California? This guy bought a whole city, what? and he's going to turn this? it into a week. He bought a whole city and he's going to turn it into a weed city. The entire city is going to be just for weed farmers and whatever, because so many people complain about if there's a weed farm somewhere around their neighborhood, like it stinks the whole neighborhood up. So 
This guy was like, you know what? I'm tired. It's worth me buying this whole city, moving everyone out and doing it here. Then it is to deal with these neighbors always complaining. Damn neighbors. So this guy, you know, uh, let me see here. Buys a city because oh, yeah. he wants to just be left alone. I, I had not heard about this. To but... farm his weed. Oh, it sounds like he's gonna let other he's gonna let other people farm that their weed. He may not even have to farm. <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> open it up for other people to do it. Let me see. Are you guys looking for a link on it? I'm, uh, it I'm was... not gonna search for anything while we're doing. Yeah, the show, that's what but... I'm looking for right now. Yeah, I mean it's well, I mean, you know, I'm it's, all for it's it. I, I just want to have some reference to, to know what I'm talking about. Well, I, I used to live in California, see, it just, so I'm kind of curious. It just makes as to me want to. Well, there, it there, makes there. me wonder why uh, a, a libertarian, you know, <clears throat> a large amount of libertarians just haven't crowdfunded to buy the most functional city that's the cheapest, you know, in a in a state, and everyone just move there and set up camp. I don't get it because. They're always at each other's throats, and nobody wants to live that close to each other. They'd rather argue on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, that's that's possible, but um, really and truly, I just think it would get shut down the minute it happened. Oh well, see, but see, there's there's already people. This guy's not getting shut down. There's already well, because he's not because he pays taxes. Who is go, who's going to pay tax in Liberty Land? Well, you may you, you even the, if you pragmatically the, pay taxes to like keep the, yeah, the uh, current, rest of the statist out of that town uh, from the the state, you know, like like let's say you did this in Tennessee or whatever, you could pay your county and sheriff and whatever to just say, hey, we don't need you in this city. Like we'll call you if we need you, and they'll never bother you. Like they're not going to disobey the I mayor unless there's a reason I, for the. I, I, I don't think so. I tend to disagree. Now that I'm not saying I'm opposed to the evidence? idea. I'll go ahead and do it right now. No, huh? I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty <laughs> sure that would that that that's what that uh, is how it would go down. Um if they don't, you know, uh especially especially in more rural places where the cops have to travel like great lengths to go on their patrols in between houses and stuff like that. If they can skip one of them that takes them out of their way, um and they don't have to worry about yeah. this entire, you know, they're going to be mm -hmm. quite happy with that because they're still going to get paid the same amount of money. They just don't have to drive all over the goddamn place. Exactly. Um, so I could totally see that happening. And then you could rebargain your city's um, contract with the, the sheriff. If and that's yeah, possible. if you if if you're purchasing a an incorporated town, uh, I'm pretty sure there's only like some fees you may actually have to pay to the state itself. But then the the uh, individual uh, citizens would still probably if you know what if whatever state taxes there are or if there's county taxes then you'll probably still have to contend with those but everything else you could do your own thing as long as it you know i mean because even by their yeah. own even by the government's own rules as long as nothing you're doing is in conflict with what Mo um you know the state's um laws. most people have bought this lie jeremy that most people have bought this lie that the most tyranny from government or uh, from from the state it comes from the federal government or even their state government it doesn't it comes from their county and their city okay those are the those are the hammer all right the minute you take the hammer away they're not going to be able to to do anything they're going to have to send in the feds or the state you know oh, the state yeah. bureaus to stop it well, and then you're going to be, but it's going to be too late. Well, I, I don't know about too late because, you know, there's, uh, especially because I've been watching. You would already have privatized everything. What are they going to do? Force this constituents it's, it's, to elect a new mayor that's going to re it's one it's one corporate no it's one it's one city and it's one it's possibly you know we're talking one city in an entire state that they, they could most they could most definitely take it back and and say the city you know claim whatever um uh, what is it, the Espionage Act or whatever, you know, like, and just uh, make it, make them traitors. Oh, I the mean, US Jeremy, cause. they could just, they could make up stuff and kill you now. Well, they're not even kill them. <laughs> just, you know, just have them arrested, you know, if they don't, if they don't stand down, threatened with being arrested under those, under those charges, because they would be effectively secede, trying to secede from the union. That's well, here's, here's the thing. Here's that I got elected to do X. I, well, yeah, I'm but just here's, doing here's my, what, what I was elected to do. That. Let's assume for a second that we, that, all of this has happened, and we've established a, a a city or a township, whatever that doesn't it that doesn't utilize state security services, right? It doesn't use the sheriff's department, and we have our own private security, right? Well, yeah, because you could definitely do that. 
Yeah, up until yeah. the point they decide that you're not doing things right. Up until the point they decide that you're not well, enforcing yeah. county and state law. Well, yeah, it could it could come to that, sure. But I mean, for example, like it happens here where I live. There are 25, 30 something. Tell them to hire more there's people 20, to enforce it over here. We don't, like, we don't, we don't, we don't have no, it. There's like, there's, I think like 20 or 25 <laughs> towns, maybe, maybe a little more here on, in Nassau County. Um, I think four or five of them have their own police force where the county cops don't even go in unless they're called and asked for backup, uh, asked in as backup. Um, they don't even, they don't, they don't go into that territory. Yeah. Um, you know, now it's, it's private and they're still, the, the town is taxing them. So it's still like a government, it's still a government thing, but they're separate. So like that type of thing already occurs now to a certain extent. So it definitely could, I mean, you're, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah. If they're, if they're very blatant about certain things, then they may cause, you know, if anything that catches the, the state's eye or the feds eye, um, that's going to make e- either one make look bad. Sure. They're going to intervene. But you're still probably going to have a great amount of leeway, and I think that's one of those things where you have to just have to look at it as a as a practical move because you're doing you're being as free as you possibly can in within the within the current paradigm. I don't know, right? And, and, and like I said, I mean, the the minute that we can get a crowdfund started for this, I am down. We can go and buy a, a whole I, bunch of well, there are of land there are smaller happen. versions of that going on already. You know, there's and, only 3,100 people that live in my town. We've but, you talked know, about it. We've talked about it before. There's you know there's the freedom cells thing that Derek Bros and them are doing. Um, there's there's still somebody. What's his name? Gabriel Schreer, I think his name is, uh, who's still down in Brazil uh, after the failed. Um, was it Gold, was it Gold's Gulch that they tried to do again? Um, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, the one, one in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, the one, the one, the, the one that ended up imploding because you know, the, and the war still goes on. The the finger pointing about who's actually to blame for that and all the money that disappeared. Um, but he stayed huh. down there and decided to try to make it, try to make a go of it um, in a different location where they actually did. Cause part of the problem was like the, whoever, you know, that they originally bought it and didn't take into account that they had to get the mineral rights and the water rights and all that stuff too. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he's trying to do, he's trying to do something else down there. Um, and there's a couple of people I now know up here stateside that are starting to do smaller intentional communities, like per, p- trying to pick up like, you know, couple you know a couple three five hundred acres maybe more of land um in order to do um and then scaling upwards um to uh to you know maybe two thousand acres you know twenty five hundred acres something like that um to build little cities essentially to work and like i like i said i know almost like a religious city you know Uh, like how you know like the 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 Lutherans would just go out into the wilderness and start their own little Lutheran community, so they wouldn't have to well, deal yeah, with you know any other communities. Well, yeah, that's what that's. We what need to just roll on out and start a you know a libertarian and cap community so, and go. You know what? Come over here and mess with us. There are See what happens. There's like like <laughs> I, I know what one right now who whose crowdfunding effort is supposed to be getting. Actually, like I said, I I just actually saw an email from Gabriel earlier because I'm on an email <laughs> uh, chain with him for um, certain business projects. And uh, he was saying he's getting his fundraiser to come out and go ready. So you're talking about if there, when when it comes, you'll 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 contribute to it. Well, there's a couple of them I know coming down the pipeline in the next month or two <laughs> um, for his yeah, project. Let yeah, me know no. about them, please, and so and we can uh, yeah, so we'll we can propagandize for them. Yeah, please. we'll definitely. And there's and there's one going there's one going on. See if we can get them on in Ohio, um, probably somewhere near the location that I hopefully plan on ending up in. Um, I refuse to contribute anything mm-hmm. to anyone in Ohio. Screw you, man. Fuck Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Ohio. Whatever, Indiana's man. Better. Jeremy's out of the loop. Indiana's he doesn't really even not know. Better. Just I keep. Know. Indiana's not really better. Indiana's worse. I don't really care. It's, anyways, you, know, it's, it's much, anyways. You, you, you don't. You don't. <laughs> it's it's anyways, all ground and matter and earth. You you don't, you don't come from New York, Stan. So uh, you know. You wouldn't under you wouldn't no, understand. I, I, no, I know, no, I, I don't. Do I, it, I came Jeremy. from California, Stan. It. You, yeah, but well, okay, but it's still, uh, it's 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 still an upgrade, you know, anywhere else but here, other than California, Stan. <laughs> <sighs> California Stan's only redeeming quality is its weather. 
Well, exactly. We've discussed that before. That's, that's why the only reason it's better. That's what exactly. I think <laughs> we discussed that before. So yeah. So you you still had it better. So I come from here. So pretty much everything is an upgrade. So Ohio is much better than where I'm uh, where where I'm at now. So you should if once you move out of the city, you should try your entire you're the I'm hardest you've ever city. tried in your entire life to quit. Dude, you're in the city without even knowing it, okay? You're breathing the air that's coming off the city. What I'm trying to, my point is, is when you move out of New York, you need to stop smoking as well. Cigarettes. I don't, need to just I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. Give your, I, I gave those up again. Oh, you're completely off of them? I, well, I still vape, but I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, vaping takes a, eventually what happened to me with vaping is I just got sick of it. I just got just sick of it. I was just like, ugh, I'm sick yeah, of well, this. Yeah, well, vaping got sick of you too, Dave. Fuck you. I know Andre's livelihood well, depends on that. I was, I'm I, pretty sure it's some Vape, everyone. It's amazing. It's, I'm pretty sure at some no, point I'm, I'm going to get just tired of filling because I still have an advance past the, uh, you know, my little starter kit. You know, like the vape pen. <laughs> I don't even use like a big, uh, you know, uh, any kind of type of rig setup or anything. I just, I just have the little pen. You know, the, the skinny little battery, um, the little three, uh, three milliliter tank, and uh, you know, I. Uh, As I'm sitting here with my two vapes on the on the on the desk counter next to me, each with its own thing going on. Exactly. I I never got into all that. <laughs> so, um, but I'm sure I'm sure at some point I'll get bored enough with having just to fill this thing on a on a fairly regular basis. Because uh, that was the plan. I mean, I, I kept going back and forth with cigarettes. I I had actually, I've been off them for a, since Thanksgiving. Complete, like I hadn't smoked a cigarette since Thanksgiving, and then Michigan happened. And uh, after camping with uh, with with a whole, with a bunch of people, including because uh, I was right next to uh, uh, Derek uh, uh, Claus, who we had her on the show, right? Uh, Back a couple months back, I think so. Yeah, yeah we did correctly. Why before Andre the con- was on? Yeah, the, the, confe- the, yeah. Con- the confectioner, punk, the punk, her uh, can- her yep. can- candy yep. company. Um, yeah, she was she's uh, great. Her, her and her family camped next to me, and she's a big smoker. So like, I was hanging out with her. Like, it just naturally. All right, let me get one of those. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm <laughs> it's just gonna, tough I'm, after a while, I'm especially just, if they're smoking a brand you'll smoke. I see. That's the thing. I'm not particular anymore. I used to be. I'm not anymore. I'll smoke. Oh. Pretty much anything. Like I started when You're I You're a soup du jour. <laughs> well, when I when I started, like when I've smoked off and on again now for the past couple of years, uh, I've been smoking Paul Malls because they're the cheapest cigarette around here. Um, you know. Yep. So I just yep. I, I just switched to those. Um, <laughs> before you know, before that, I was smoking Parliaments. Um, occasionally, I'll just oh, buy no. a random pack of menthols. Like I'll buy either a par, um, you know Parliament menthol lights or the. Uh, Paul, Paul Mall menthols, which are kind of a little too strong for my taste, but even even the lights are kind of like, ooh, that's a little that's a little much for me. Because um, I, I my vape to, to this day, I've never gone above like I, the highest I ever went was six, and now I smoke like a three. So, <laughs> yep. Um, and know, most people uh-oh. do that. That's, that's usually what even a light. The is. governor of West Virginia just swapped parties at Trump's rally. From what to what? Was he a Republican uh, or was he a Democrat? I'm, I believe he was a Democrat. Uh, a Democrat switched to Republican. A Democrat. West Virginia Governor Governor Jim Justice announced Thursday he's switching parties to join the Republicans as presidential Donald Trump visited the increasingly conservative state. So, was gonna say, I was, that, <laughs> so it was a he's 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 a hack trying to save his fucking job. Sure, sure he is. I guess I just assumed because uh, you know West Virginia is like a blue collar state with the coal industry and right stuff. That's that's their whole thing. So I just assumed they would have been a Republican. Well, state they had they went red because the Democrats passed all of the regulations that killed all of it. So it was just a. a well, it's, a, a uh, so I guess they thing. so they used to be and they they just yeah okay they swung back. I got gotcha. you. Well, it's the same thing with the South. You know, the the That's Republicans like are the ones who took all of the of the South of the Southerners' lands. You know, so like they were all just bet in bed for Democrat. You know, blind you know, blind as it as it gets. I remember talking to my great grandmother. Uh, you know about you know if she was a Democrat or a Republican, and she was like, "I'm a Democrat, and I'll be a Democrat to the day I die." And I was like, <laughs> "I hate that I'm related to you." All right, Granny. On Democratic that. Party today. <laughs> Democratic Party. Anyways, you've been tomorrow. listening to the Seeds of Liberty Democratic podcast. Party yeah. Forever. 
Thought, <laughs> thought, thought, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I got us on a tangent about Sterner and philosophy, and then we just kind of rambled. No, I it's apologize. fine. It's, I started it's, it's this. fine. This is my fault. The, the, I think people the, like the, uh, the, these. The, this felt like a natural convo. The, pe- the people. It was. When, it when was. people when people hear this, they'll already hear a nice intro because uh, you know I'll I'll I'll, put, I'll stick an intro in at the beginning that explains how we just jumped into this conversation and just made it easier than actually starting a show. So, but on that on that note, we probably should get wrapping up. So. Uh, this was fun, guys. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, this I'm, was. I'm glad, this was. I'm, I'll I'm, go I'm, back to because I didn't really have a plan. I, I'm, I didn't really have a plan for tonight, so I'm, I'm glad we did this. This kind of worked out well. <laughs> um, all right, so this uh, has been the Seeds of Liberty podcast. All of our information can be found at solpodcast.org. Um, our Patreon site is still up, obviously, and you know, thank you to everybody who continues to donate. And I promise, I keep saying. Yes, thank be, you so much, guys. I, I keep saying that there's going to be stuff, uh, new stuff up. I actually have like three or maybe even four uh, different episodes I could put up at this point. I just have to get to them. Um, it may have to wait till I finally shut down my company. <laughs> but once the once that happens, you know, if you can hold on for another month or so, there will be a whole bunch of uh, oh content gosh, coming. I'm to so Patreon. busy too. So. <laughs> Um, and then, and then I'll have. Lots I keep. I have all these videos I want to shoot too, and I just I'm so busy. It's like, what do I? I can't properly plan them out. So well, I feel you, man. Life keeps getting. In the I'm way, sure our man. fans will understand. Yeah, well, like what I said, we have that we, fans, fans, fans. Hey, we, fans. Have a, <laughs> we, we, we have a bunch of people that donate on Patreon, so and they continue to, despite the fact that we don't actually put any more. I haven't put any content up in a couple of weeks. Um, so, uh, so that that's great. I, I really appreciate that. Anyhow, so well they help pay for our the hosting on all of our stuff, man, and it really is nice. Exactly. So yeah, that's uh, that's why I do want to get the content out there eventually. But like I said, once I do, you'll be uh, overloaded with it for a couple of weeks. So that'll be so so that should be hopefully make up for it. Anyway, thank you uh, everybody for listening, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Peace in the Middle East. Are you sick of seeing peaceful people being locked away for victimless crimes? Instead of trying to get out of jury duty, consider taking it so you can do the right thing. A single juror with a conscience can send someone home to their family instead of to a jail cell. If there's no victim, how can there be a crime? And if the judge or prosecutor are keeping you in the dark, what are they trying to hide? You can vote your conscience instead of being a pawn of the state. For more information, Google jury nullification or check out the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Gun Training with the Non-Aggression Principle, Volume 1. Basic Handgun and Rifle with Jared Waltz. First rule of being alive is you own yourself. A groundbreaking approach to firearms and self-defense training. Beautifully filmed and easy to understand instructions make this one a must-have. Gun Training with the Non-Aggression Principle, Volume 1. New DVD from Michael W. Dean. Available on Amazon. Your house is your property.